And I did say to Taika, here's the deal, I want to have the scream. And if you see the video, you'll understand what I mean. I said, I want to have that scream in the film. And, uh, and uh, I do understand, but uh, that deal wasn't kept because it was, it was, again, something which was just a little too extreme. What a movie. Oh, wonderful. Amazing. What goes into consideration when you're considering taking a comic book movie role? You know, really for me, it was uh, Taika. Uh, I'd loved Thor Ragnarok, um, uh, as did my family. Uh, we also all loved Jojo Rabbit. Um, and, um, and then uh, I had worked uh, with Natalie. Uh, wanted to work with Tessa and with Chris. And, uh, uh, you know, there was, um, uh, so that, it comes down to that, really. I just yeah. went, great, love the script, love Taika's description of the villain. Let's go do this. Uh, there were some potential scheduling conflicts. I said to my family, ah, I don't think it's going to work out. And they went, no, you make it work out. You make Marvel work. You're, you're doing this, Dad. So <laughs> they, they gave me my marching orders and I dutifully obeyed. Gore is a great villain. Um, and I think a lot of it is because you kind of understand, maybe not condone what he's doing, but you understand yeah. why. No, we don't condone what he's doing. He's still a monster. He is Gore the God Butcher. He is a butcher. But you, yes, uh, do have a confusing amount of... Uh, Potentially sympathy, certainly understanding yeah. of where he's coming from. Yeah, does, that made it very interesting. Does he cut his tattoos off? Yes, yes, we did film that. Um, we filmed an awful lot that you don't see, uh, but I think it was considered to be a little bit too extreme. Oh, gotcha. Okay, a lot of yeah, a lot of people were like, "We need more gore." <laughs> um, what was the most important parameter for you when it came to joining the Marvel universe? You talk about working with Taika, but was there anything you were, about the character that you were like, "I really want"? this to happen with Gore? I only had absolutely one request, which was that, uh, you know, I, I had referenced um, the Come to Daddy video by Aphex Twin, um, where there's a character in it that, uh, I, I, that inspired me regarding Gore. And I did say to Taika, hey, here's the deal, I want to have the scream. And if you see the video, you'll understand what I mean. I said, I want to have that scream in the film. And, uh, and uh, I do understand, but uh, that deal wasn't kept because it was, it was, again, something which was just a little too extreme, I think, <laughs> perhaps, for uh, the PG-13. Uh, I might have had people running for the exits, uh, but we did do it, and uh, it's on the cutting room floor somewhere. Okay, hopefully we can see that. Um, do you feel any comparisons or huge contrast to playing a hero like Batman and a villain like Gore. They're both comic book movies, but is there any similarities between? Well, they're both uh, characters, as, as you just said. You know, there is some confusing sympathy uh, uh, for such a monster as, as Gore and certainly some understanding. And, and likewise, you know, uh, 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 Batman is not such an out-and-out -out, uh, um, uh, hero as many others. You know, there's, a, there's, a, there's an urge for him to take the, the easier route and, uh, and letting his darker emotions take over. So that's the great fascinating conflict, you know, within Batman uh, in his, in, in himself. So uh, the two of them do have uh, these uh, raging conflicts within them. Have you had the chance to see the Batman with Robert Pattinson? I have not yet. And my apologies to uh, uh, Robert for that. He's an absolutely fantastic actor and I, I look forward to seeing it. I just don't see that many films. Yeah, gotcha. It's great. It's great. Um, I'm wondering if you have been approached to return as Batman at all, because with no. the Flash coming up, Michael Keaton's no, return. No, one, no one's ever mentioned it to me. No, one, no one's brought it up. The What's wrong with them? Occasionally, people will say to me, "Oh, I hear you were approached and offered all this," and I'm like, "That's news to me." No, no one's ever said that. I had a, a pact with uh, Chris Nolan. We said, "Hey, look, let's make three films." if we're lucky enough to get to do that, and then let's walk away, you know, uh, uh, let's not linger uh, too long. So in my mind, um, uh, 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 I, it, it would be something that if Chris Nolan ever said to himself, you know what, I've got another story to tell, then, you know, and if he wished to tell that story with me, then I'd be in.